Sometimes the game launches with such overwhelmingly positive reception and fosters such a healthy community that legendary stories are born. And that is the case with the one and only Let Me Solo Her. You may have heard this name spreading around far and wide across forums and social media. Kotaku puts it best with their headline here. Elden Ring player Let Me Solo Her has become a total legend among fans. So, who is Let Me Solo Her? What's the deal behind this individual? Well, one day people started to post about this experience that they had. Here's to an absolute legend, Let Me Solo Her, says Reddit user Sazed813 with over 42,000 upvotes in the last four days. He shared his story, his encounter with Let Me Solo Her. After 20 to 30 millennia attempts and getting to 15% several times, I finally decided I would try summoning and uh, bum rushing with two others and just getting it done. So I popped the finger remedy and approached the first sign I could see. It was a man wearing nothing but a jar on his head, holding two katanas named Let Me Solo Her. I considered against it. But I was curious, and who am I to deny him his wish? The man took no damage except for from some rot on the flower attack. He was flawless and put all of my attempts to shame. I definitely didn't kill Melania, but either way, she is dead. Thank you, kind stranger, even if you'll never see this message. Oh. He saw the message all right. Lemmy Solo eventually got wind of the legendary status he had achieved and actually posted a little excerpt on Reddit just saying, Hey guys, let me solo her. If you've been playing Elden Ring and have tried to fight Millennia on PC, you might have crossed paths with a summon called Let Me Solo Her. I've been helping countless Tarnish in their quest to defeat Melania by going butt naked except for a jar on my head. Please enjoy this video of me soloing Melania as a third summon. My sign will be down for Desperate Tarnished, as always. What a freaking chat. Here's the video in question. I'd recommend you check it out. It's really mighty impressive. Published on April 12, 2022. Already over a million views, over 1.2 million views. The likes to dislikes ratio, overwhelmingly positive. So here's just a glimpse of the mad skills of Let Me Solo Her. Let's check this out as he gets summoned by other players before he goes in there and just flawlessly slays who is perhaps the hardest boss in the entire game. It's the combination of his name, Let Me Solo Her, the fact that he lives up to that name and he's just flawless with Melania battles and his appearance of being butt naked, basically saying, I don't even need armor because if you're wearing armor, you're basically saying I'm gonna get hit. By not wearing armor, you're saying I don't even need it because I'm not gonna get hit. That's how good I am. Combined with the two katanas and the pot, that adds an air of mystery to this character. I feel like he has a story, I don't know. It's just all the right ingredients came together. You can see just how good this guy is. And looking at the latter stages of this boss battle, he's still just... I mean, not breaking a sweat. Just utterly, completely badass. And I'd recommend you watch the full video because it's... It's quite... Quite elegant, the way he just destroys this boss battle that I struggled with for a bit. And it wasn't long before people began to spread this legend even further and wider. Paul R. here tweeted that multiplayer component to FromSoft games is fairly modest compared to most games, and yet it's so damn elegant that one player who helps others get past Elden Ring's hardest boss is being mythologized and revered by the community. And this highlights some of the fan art and the posts that detail their experiences with Let Me Solo Her. And you can see how viral this has gone, over 120,000 likes, tons of retweets. And then there's the rallying of the community who have created some truly incredible fan art. This one right here, fairly simple coloring, but I love this angle, and this has garnered over 46,000 upvotes on Reddit. Here's another one. This is one of the most impressive ones. Sculpted, printed, and painted this jarnished over 66,000 upvotes in the last two days. Look at this. It's basically an amiibo of Let Me Solo Her, but highly detailed, just incredible. I would buy this at the snap of a finger if uh, this individual ever decides to like, I don't know, put this up on Etsy or something. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. You've got memes cropping up like this one with 47,000 upvotes. Melania going, I fear no man, but that thing. Furled finger, let me solo her. 
It scares me. Here we have another post that simply reads, Fan art of the greatest Giga Chat this side of the lands beyond. I love this artwork. It's almost like this tarot card looking art style. Let me solo her. Over 23, almost 24,000 outvotes. 23.6 thousand outvotes. Here we have another post highlighting a let me solo her fan art uh, sculpted in ZBrush. If this ever gets finished and fully colored, man. On Twitter, of course, fan art has been spreading like wildfire. Shimhack said, what is an Empyrean to a warrior who walks the path of the jar? Look at this, look at this. Uh, I mean, the community surrounding Elden Ring is so freaking wholesome. Look, obviously there are get good crowds who try to tell people exactly how they should play, whatever. But, you know, when wholesomeness like this hits, it hits hard. And, I mean, look at this stuff. Uh, Lontara Havlovich posted this. Let me solo her. Look at this badass artwork. Like, this is unironically a really badass character design. And the fan art is really representing that. Look at this. Over 178,000 upvotes in just the last day. Here's another meme on Twitter from Deluge Ska. I'm hearing rumors about some jar neuter calling himself Let Me Solo Her. Here's Millennia with this uh, Thor Ragnarok meme. You can't defeat me. I know, but he can, says the tarnish, and out comes Let Me Solo Her. And here's a couple more artworks just for good measure because they look so good. I mean, look at this stuff. Look at this. This is also really awesome and badass. You got, of course, GigaChad memes. This is not the only one. Here is a drawing of GigaChad, but the head replaced with the pot. And, I mean, it continues. There's so much out there, and it's... Uh this is just really cool when stuff like this happens. Lemmy Solower has garnered so much attention and praise that IGN decided to reach out to him and do an interview. Now, an excerpt from the article was posted on Reddit with over 66,000 upvotes. A message from Let Me Solo Her. Basically him apologizing for those he has failed. Sometimes the lag between the host and myself is too much, so I get killed instantly sometimes, or miss the crucial dodge timing on Melania's water flow dance. I would like to express my apology to those I have failed. Suffice to say that this has only made people respect Lemmy Solo Her that much more. It's only made the legend grow. As somebody in the comments below said, the legend never dies. He's truly the reincarnation of Giant Dad. Certain people complimenting his humility despite his badassery. He doesn't let the legend status get to his head. Imagine reading about this guy for weeks and seeing the memes and stories and videos and after a few hours of struggling with the boss, you see his sign and manage to summon him and then he lags out and is immediately one shot. Which, yeah, not everyone has the best connection that can absolutely happen. True legend, though, staying humble through the internet fame. As for the rest of the IGN interview, of course, you can find it on their website. We spoke to Let Me Solo Her, the Elden Ring community hero we need and deserve. Scrolling down, you'll find all the details he shared surrounding how he became Let Me Solo Her. I chose Melania to help others because I fell in love with her design. Tell me about it. I know that feeling. I mean, she looks badass enough in the trailer, but then you actually fight her in phase one. Her moveset is just out of this world. And then phase two comes along. She spreads her wings and just... I mean, the scenery of it all is majestic, and the battle itself is badass, and yes, you will die a lot, but man, it's, it's such a cool boss battle in my opinion. All her attacks are very graceful, and she is unforgiving as a boss. Her infamous water flow dance is considered to be the hardest to dodge move set from a FromSoft boss to date, so I decided to prove to others that it was not impossible. As of the reporting of this article, it was stated that he has around 200 hours total on this character, is level 179, and does not plan on leveling up Further, as for why Let Me Solo Her chose this specific attire, the quote here reads, It is a running tradition of Soulsborne games that the naked players are the most powerful beings in the game. Indeed, they're so skilled, they don't need armor to mitigate damage because they won't get damaged. Why wear armor if you don't plan on getting hit at all? And the pot is a good luck charm from the character Iron Fist Alexander, whom I admire. Man. I love this so much. And then down here, you got the quote about sometimes the lag gets me killed. Sorry about that for those who I have failed. Bruh, no worries, trust me. One thing Let Me Solo Her did want to clarify is that some people are trying to take advantage of the legend and pretend to be the legend. Anyone running around with the same name who leaves at the first sign of cooperation is apparently an imposter. The Let Me Solo Her in that video is not me, he assures me. I guess there was a video of some sort that highlighted a user named Lemmy Solo Her running away, and that spread some rumors. He clarifies, it's not me, I always wear a jar on my head, and I do not bail on any Millennia boss fights. If the host or other summon decides to help, I have no problems whatsoever. So there's an anti Lemmy Solo Her, one who's trying to tarnish the legend. Now, this legend is established and solidified 
This legend has achieved epic status. Let me solo conclude it by just thanking the community. I'd like to thank the Elden Ring community for all the support and hype around my character. My summon sign will always be down for fellow Tarnish and Need. Now thank you, sir, for not only looking out for the little guys who need that help, but also for creating one of the most wholesome video game community stories and one of the most wholesome stories, I think, of the year. And the thing is, this is just one story that has spread far and wide. There's plenty of other community-driven ridiculousness, like how Kotaku reported there is this one speedrunner who was killing the toughest bosses with only his ass, using this stomp move that is a real move in the game, just playing the game using his butt. If you want to check that video out, you can find it on YouTube channel Distortion 2. Look at the fanfare here, over 99% likes ratio. Can I beat Elden Ring with only my butt and clicking on it? You will see that he is dead serious about this endeavor. And <laughs> I mean, it's ridiculous yet epic and wholesome. This is what separates, I think, interactive media from passive media. Interactive media, not only do you get to participate in the game itself, but you get to create your own stories. There can be meta stories that are kind of based around this game and that kind of exists in the minds of players. Just completely ridiculous and yet equally badass and equally wholesome. I mean, the Elden Ring community, this is the kind of community that can be fostered when you release a game with good intentions and really push the boundaries in ways that people could have never foreseen. So, congrats to you. Let me solo her. You have earned your legendary status, and I hope the legend continues to spread. And I hope more wholesome stories like these continue to crop up in Elden Ring and across other games as well. But that's just one man's take. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are on the legend of Let Me Solo Her. And to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.